Hello and welcome back everyone to our channel. Um, I just want to thank you in the very beginning as I normally do that in the, in the end of the video. Thank you very much for all your support that I'm getting for the video so far. Today's video is going to be a pretty special one. Today we're going to discuss um, a pretty fascinating topic. It's regarding reverse engineering mid-journey prompts. Yes, you heard me right. So now mid-journey can help us reverse engineer prompts for the best images or the images that we think we cannot produce or we just, they're just too much jaw dropping for us and we cannot we cannot even think about getting close to them. So in the bottom line, we can we can reverse engineer the mid journey prompts to create stunning AI generated images. And so in this video, I'm gonna walk you through the process of writing the command I'm going to I'm going to show you a demo, and at the end I'm going to show you one tool which which is going to help you do any sort of stuff with your images. For instance, you might want to jump into print on demand businesses. You might want to you start making money with uh, a art or whatever you want to do. So it's going to be a kind of a bundled video where you're going to get a few tips together. So without further ado, we're going to jump right into this and see how far we can go into that tutorial. I'll try to make it brief, but still, you know, we're making it brief actually just stretches it to at least 15 or 20 minutes. Hopefully it does not go that far today. So you all understand what Mijani prompts are. So normally what we are doing is that we are writing, imagine, and then, you know, you can see the prompt, that one liner that I just, um, I just typed in, on top of, uh, on top of the one that I'm doing right now. So, it's prompt. Um, let's see if I repeat this one. Rest houses, um, rest not rest horses. Rest house, rest houses in Japan with spring cherries, and asking mid journey to render it to v five. Let's see what we come up with, right? So, but the fun part is going to start now after this one. So. And if it does not come up quickly enough, I'm going to cancel it and I'm going to jump right into the, the stuff that we want to deal with. Well, it's coming up and it actually gives us some good um, comparison of the quality that, that the both version can produce. Same prompt, version four, version five. Let's see what it comes up with. Is there anything changing or maybe some more delightful or realistic images? Let's see. 62%, definitely version five is a bit slower. So 93, yeah, that's 93 and come on. There should be one more flip, right, okay. Yeah, so a version five is more realistic. And an overall feel that I get, a, well, and the difference that I feel from between version four and version five is that version so even with little context with single liner prompts you will get more realistic images that's that's what version five has been tuned for I believe so anyways um today's topic is not about the the differences as we just discussed so we're going to jump right into the stuff that the exciting stuff so <clears throat> usually I work with Majani bot and we are going to open in that case um let's say if we scale up one of those videos here one of those images here i'm sorry so oh in fact i'll want to do this one i just like this the artistic ones better so we're going to wait for that <clears throat> just for a few minutes maybe not even for a few minutes i don't know it's not version five Hopefully it comes up. And if it not comes up, we'll have to cancel that anyway. Very slow, unfortunate. Okay, so an image that you have already. I don't want to actually I don't want to test this technique on technique on the on my previous images. I just wanted to show something new. So just bear with me while we do that. So I'm gonna cancel it. And uh, hmm. 
Oops, cancel job. Okay, so it canceled. I'm gonna upscale the first one again. Usually, oh, it's with version five. Yeah, so that's why it's taking slow, but it comes up pretty fast, right? So, okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna open that in web and go on to the other side. By the way, I want to explore the images also. So I'm going to go to the explore link here on the left on the left side navigation menu. And then I'm going to come into the community feed. This is a pretty nice one, right? So always something nice to um, experiment with. Um that woman, nah, or something really. Um yeah, good stuff. People are working on good stuff anyway. So, yeah, maybe I'm just trying to find an image which would be um, which would allow which would allow me to you know I'm not going to copy the prompt. I'm just going to copy the image. Um, and we want to do version five, so we know that it's going to come up realistic. Maybe some artistic one, right? So let's do. This one, All right? Oh, uh, nah. Sorry for that. Uh, let's go up and maybe to do this one. Yeah. Let's check this one. So, um, we are going to copy my address, go on to the new tab, click on the image. Download it, save the image, and uh, everything is getting slow today. All right, I apologize for that. So we're going to save the image. And now we're going to come back to, I've already saved the image on the other screen, so you can see that. Sorry for that. But now there's a special command that Magini has introduced recently, which is this simple command, describe. So once you type describe and you drag your image, you upload your image here, which I'm gonna do in a minute. So it's gonna analyze the image and it's gonna come up with some description which it thinks is relevant to the image. So in other words, it's gonna generate the prompt for us. So. So we will let it analyze the image, Magenta is thinking, and there are a few descriptions here. Okay, so it, even it has given us the, the aspect ratio. But let's say, <clears throat> let's see, we go through these, um, these descriptions, a retro advertisement showing a couple of drinks in the style of captivating lighting, Mike Mayhew, thank you. Hard edging painting, elegant, sharp, fresh work, sharp attention to detail, festive, festive atmosphere, AR ratio two, ratio three. Okay, so we're gonna copy that. We're gonna copy that lovely prompt. And I'm going to do the imagine thing again. It's in version four. Ah, uh, so let's see what version four comes up with. And then when we're going to run it in uh, version five also. For some reason it's passed. Maybe we can cancel that and start again. Uh, let's see. Oh no, it just popped up. Okay. Right, so what's coming up? Aha, there you go. It's loading something, and I'm pretty sure it's going to be fun. Ninety-three percent. And it's spinning. I don't know what what is taking my journey so long today. Oh, it broke for us. 
Okay, so we, uh, we can probably uh, redo it. Yeah. Maybe it's going to come back. Come on, don't you show me poop here. Okay, we did a re-roll of the images and see, let's see what come up with, what we come up with. It's in the aspect ratio two, ratio three. And we're getting close to something. Ninety-three percent. I hope it does not break this time. Oh, it's doing the same thing again. Okay, it's spinning. Let's try to do an upscale. Random upscale without seeing an image, but I hope that the journey has the link for the image. It just broke while creating the reading the four images here, so maybe something wrong with the connection or what. So in the meanwhile, let's look at our source image. Our source image is certainly looks like Marlon Monroe, but I'm not sure who she is. Not a fan of movies. So it's ready to start, we'll wait a bit. I think I'll pause here a bit. So I'll have to pause while this thing gets completed and I'll be back with you in a minute. Okay, and fortunately these, um, there were, there were some, there are some broken links here and we could not get that data. And Midjourney could not produce these images anyway. So I tried to do another test. And so just going down, I see I could find the image of this Porsche here. So this car here, so it looks uh, pretty realistic. And so I just put it in the in the mid-journey and asked it to describe the describe the image. It gave me a few suggestions. So now interestingly, there are four suggestions here, right? So number one, number two, number three, number four, right? So if we go and I and I picked up the first suggestion. So, and I, I could have clicked on this number one and it would have uh, generated images for the first for the first session. But look at the quality that we are getting here, so, right? So here is the, here's the detail of the images from version five. This is version five that we, that we are getting. It's, it looks great in the very beginning if we can see that. So um, I'm gonna upscale one, probably or not, or maybe like I'm gonna upscale version four here. And then I'm also going to do is that I'm I'm going to try maybe a random uh, suggestion given by um, Midjourney for the prompt for this image, which would be like um, let's say um, version nine one one. Um, maybe let's let's try three. So I'll give it um, three. Yeah, I know. So we're gonna go ahead. So look at this image, it just came up. So this is the image created by Midjourney out of the image that we had as a source. So this is our source image. So I'll open that in the browser. This is our source image. And this is the image that we have from Midjourney. Really close, right? So it's a perfect thing to do. All you need to do for to create such images is to, if you have a source image, you do a describe instead of imagine, you upload your image, which in this case is my uh, image of this car. And maybe I could actually try to do one of my own images from the previous, uh, let's say from the previous videos. So I could do that. 
And now this view is getting up a bit lengthier. So yeah, so this was then one of the images from my previous videos. I'm going to do it. Um, I'm going to ask Majini to describe it. Okay, so let's give it maybe two or three more minutes. Okay, so an image of a female, female blacksmith. It was not a blacksmith. It was it was a vampire. So uh, one of the most beautiful dwarves in the kingdom in the style of Magali, Velenev, dynamic action, light back and red, lean loop, illustrative RTX on, redefined brushwork. Okay, so I'm going to do this. I'm going to, uh, in fact, I'm going to click on this probably um, one and see what the Jenny can come up with. So yeah, I'm not going to do it through version four, version five. I'm going to do it with version four. Let's see. I hope it's going to get close. So it is going to be a bit closer, but let's see. This just, it's just an assumption. Can we get the same look and feel for the image? Ooh, wow, so I can already see some swords here. Huh. Wow, it's version four, right? So you get it in version four. Not bad, not bad. Probably this so this this character was actually showing again and again in version four. Never mind. So we we're gonna do that again, and uh, we're gonna copy it. Or maybe we could do yeah. We 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 can just copy it. And we're going to do it in version 5 to see what comes up. I hope it does not come up with some realistic image. With an energetic brushwork. And this time I'm keeping a track of this video. It's getting a bit longer, but I'll, I'll just try to... Um, Close the topic here and move on to another exciting thing that I have to show to you. Um, let's wait for a sec. Or maybe just a few more minutes. I apologize. But let's see what my journey version 5 gives us. Yeah, it's a bit closer. It's definitely a bit closer. Yeah, let's upscale version five and then, sorry, version four and then, oh, yeah, okay. So that's the crux of this, uh, this whole video and tutorial is to make you understand that there's a way for us to reproduce the reproduce the theme of the image and up to some extent the characters of the image. Um, you might not be able to get the same character out, but still you'll be able to get the theme and the look and the feel of the character out of this this prompt. As this is, if you give Majani an image and you you ask it to describe it so it's going to come up with the description that it understands about the character and the image and it will further help you you know write your prompts you can even copy those prompts so i'm just i just copied those prompts i did not add any other details about uh, about the image to beautify it or to make it close uh, to my initial images maybe we could do more tests on those um, on those images to make it more close but again, it would be out of scope for this video and it would make it much, much lengthier. So um, I'm going to stop this exercise now. And uh, now we're going to jump on to another interesting uh, small stuff that I had to show it to you. So it's a small tool. Um, and I came it across, um, I came across it uh, the other day. And it's regarding, you know, you know, resizing or upscaling your mid journey Im images. For instance, if I would want this character or maybe this character, if I was a, a Porsche fan, maybe I would want to use um, these, uh, probably this image on my, um, on, on my maybe t-shirt, maybe, maybe some other, uh, maybe some other portrait kind of, um, wall painting or whatever. So, I mean, I, I could do it in various ways. So, so we would open that in, in um, 
different tab and uh, we will definitely save this image and uh, we would save that as um, for a png so now i'm going to go another tool i'm going to copy the tool link of this um tool in the description in the description below for you to to use it so what i could easily do in, with the help of this tool and it's it's been it's it has kind of surprised me the way that it has um, produced the quality so it's close to something that i've been getting out of the the ai based uh, quality enhancers if we want to you know if i want to scale up the images but this is a way this is a quick and easy and free tool to scale up your images so for instance and i'm going to show you the difference in some time so if, for instance if i want to use this porsche image here i'm going i want to scale up to 5x let's say so i'm going to resize the image and it's it starts processing it can take a little bit but not that much amount of time see it just took a few seconds and i'm going to download the image and the resized images with me so i'm going to open that and this image is here now great quality it's excellent quality and the resolution is also superb so if we if i just close it and if we examine the quality and the and the resolution of these uh, images, this is like this is phenomenal. And I'm probably going to do another video on that. So let's see. So in these part in this videos, if I can show you here, so this is the one that we actually resize. So if we look at these ones, so you have a look at this. The details, the version, the the. Resolution, the dimensions for the original image were 1024 by 1024. And the resolution for the for the resized image is, wow, 5,120 5, by 5,120 pixels. It's, it's far up the curve. Maybe um, 96 DPI, would not be helpful it could come up to 300 dpi so we could actually tweak that as well but again it's it's great stuff so i mean you can use this you can use this tool to do some quick print jobs um on your notebooks on your stickers and on whatever you want to do um having said that i'll stop this video here and i i want to thank you for um for your uh, support flow so far again and I'm, I'm so glad that um, I'm able to share this knowledge and this uh, these small tutorials with you. I'll try to keep them short, but as the stuff is going on, as as the process is continual, so hiccups happen in between and the videos get longer and because these are unedited versions, I don't edit them, but I just have to, st I have to stop today's video to make sure that um, the length was not too much longer. So anyways, I'll see you back in the next video. Uh, take good care of yourselves and have a great rest of your day and time. Bye-bye for now.